Oh, greetings gentlemen, ladies, old school game snob here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to basically set up your 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 groom hair, your in this case Daz imported hair, so that it falls nicely, naturally, uh, pretty well around your character's uh, geometry. And the way you're going to want to do this is to head on over into your character's physics object. So I've got a custom physics object here. When you create a character, you probably have one with it. All characters, well, do they need a physics object? I don't know, probably. Probably most of them have it. If you don't have it, you're going to need one. Um, if you don't have a physics object for your character for some reason, all you need to do is right-click on your character's skeleton. Let's see here. Right-click on your character's skeletal mesh and uh, just uh, create a uh, physics asset. Create. Uh, you create an assign. You can probably also create it. In this. You can uh, you can assign it later in the skeletal mesh if you want to. You guys probably already have that figured out. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how the physics asset affects your your the way your hair falls on your character, basically. All right. So let's take a look at that. This this here. Um, what you're going to want to be looking at is basically the sh objects and shapes that your uh, your physics ab object has right because these are where your hair decides to fall so what i've done is i've created a basically a, a bunch of shapes that align to shoulder abdomen all those various components and what i've also found is that uh, having them a little bit higher than the actual exact geometry seems to be the better way to go uh, i don't know why this is but what i found is that that just sort of seems to work better um, um, this uh, this particular uh, skeleton, the Daz skeleton, had a face, had a mouth, had a had a head component, and what these are doing, what these shapes are doing, are telling the groom hair where to bounce off of, basically, right? So if I were to, for example, and I'll show you this really quick, and then I'll let you monkey around with it because there's not much to know, other than um, yeah, other than how to basically do it. But if I was to monkey around with this and move this physics object. Or out to the out to the right you can see how it's affecting the hair right it's actually moving that hair the hair is now bouncing off of this new location right as where the head is thought to be uh, let me grab another part here here's the bangs right oops did I miss it what did I do uh, <laughs> shit what what did I do <laughs> um, I think I, I think I clicked and dragged, but I didn't click and drag the right thing. So I, I don't want to mess up what I got when, without knowing what I did. That's fine. Let's just, let's try that again. Grab from the actual, what am I even, oh, I know what I'm doing. I don't have the, the shape selected. I have something near the shape, shape selected. Oh, come on, come on. I'm having a little bit of trouble. You know what? I'm just going to actually disable the bones so I don't keep on clicking things. Um, character, phones, none. There we go. That'll be easier. All right, so now I'm going to grab the, the front area here, and as you can see, as I move that forward, the new conformation of the hair is now around where that object would be. And this is all done live real time, so you can kind of watch it happen as you're, as you're doing it, and that's kind of the easy way to find just where exactly your settings are, but it's a tinkering process. And that's, that's kind, of, kind of it. You have to tinker until you find all the settings. From there, I'm going to show you really quick um, what I ended up doing with my groom hair asset, which is over here. I'll show you some of the settings that I found nice in terms of the physics asset of my hair, uh, just because that's also a an, uh, an, uh, kind of important component to getting it to look fairly natural and nice. <clears throat> and I'm pretty happy with how it's looking now. Uh, I might tweak it a bit more, but it's, it's not too bad. So what I've done here, and this tutorial will not cover how to do wind, there are a couple of tutorials that do cover how to to apply wind to your to your groom asset, but uh, they are a little bit more complex. Not too hard once you know how, but uh, more than I'm going to just quickly, you know, off the cuff here in this tutorial. But what we're going to do is head on over to the uh, groom assets hair settings, and uh, a couple of things that I liked. I like to change the bend stiffness down to 0.03. I believe this, I can't remember the default setting, it was way less stiff. I think it was something like 0 0.05 initially, right? And so it was quite a lot more flowing, as you can see. But when you stiffen that up, 
it's like adding a bit of hairspray to your hair. You still get a lot of the natural sort of flow at 0 0.03, I found, but also it maintains its curls and some of its shapes a little better. Um, so there was that setting. I also, actually, what I also did here is initially, this was actually at minus 900, and I didn't like the look of that gravity. I kind of like the, I, I applied some opposite gravity to it. So there's a bit of an up push on the gravity, and that kind of gives the hair a bit of a sort of free flowing, natural blowing in the wind sort of look. Um, that gravity setting is basically, it's interesting. You can do all sorts of interesting things with that gravity setting. Um, but I found that just like plus 100 push, like an upward push gave it a really nice sort of effect. So that was another thing that I changed to give it quite a nice look. Um, and I think that was actually it, just a bit of a gravity setting and, um, I can't remember, oh, maybe I changed the bend stiffness to 0. I think this was 0 0.05 initially. I think I changed the bend stiffness to 0 0.03. Um, and again, well, maybe it was, I can't remember. I can't remember what that was, but I think I adjusted that a little bit. And uh, I'm just gonna show you guys my settings here. So if you like how my hair is moving and looking, you can kind of copy those settings over because I can't remember 100% exactly everything I changed. So you can just quickly take a look, but that's about it. So that's, uh, in my opinion, yeah, creating a pretty nice wind hair blowing effect. Setting up the wind is pretty easy. Check out the other tutorials for that from some other channels. There's a couple of them available. They're both the same uh, idea. Um, yeah, see you guys later.